they are deleted. And what you have, you have levitating rigid bodies, as you see, this, this is levitating. See? Of course, Godot is a great game engine and everything is solved, but this ship isn't solved. Greetings. I would like to show you levitation using GD script in Godot 4. So, let's see this. We will add a few objects. All of these objects are rigid bodies. And in one moment, if you have enough rigid bodies, they are deleted. And what you have? You have levitating rigid bodies, as you see. This, this is levitating. See? Of course, Godot is a great game engine and everything is solved, but this ship isn't solved. So what to do, what to do? We don't need to do a thing if we want uh, this effect of levitation. But <laughs> if we don't uh, need this, we need to do some shit uh, for this to work properly. So we need... Uh, to add a few code lines for this to work and we will add a few code lines for this to work let's see now so we want normal working normal working okay for uh, we need six of this objects and this is normal working but for this normal working, I write about, uh, I don't know, 10 to 12 uh, code lines. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay, print was the load, 8. 8 more, more and less. Air eight more and less code lines I add to solve this shit. So now, when you use it, it's working. You need six in a, in a line. So let's see this. Now we have six. Everything worked properly because, uh, because we change a few things. Okay, if you are interested uh, how this is done or if you are interested to do something similar, please obtain the GD Script 2.0 book. I will put link in description. If you don't have money to obtain this book, I'm very sorry, but uh, I don't have more options to give it for free. I give it for free using free days option. But uh, you can put comment and ask if you need something and uh, we can make some other videos. So this is all for today, folks. Goodbye.